Actually, it happened to me quite a few times. Ah! Ah, ha! Now when you're trying to... F oh! Oh my god, I feel so much better. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. La bienvenue dans Ami Canal. Konnichiwa, watashino channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. <laughs> Don't copy paste. That was really natural here. Just fine. Well, I hope you had a wonderful beginning of the week. It's Thursday. It's my second video of the week. Of course, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It's free, full of adventure. I give fashion advice twice a week, Tuesday, Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, every single week. So there's no reason for you to miss it at all, to be honest. And most of the time, I get to chat a little bit because, well, why not? It's my channel, so. Who cares? It was, of course, today gonna be another chatty video and it was because we're getting closer to the Black Friday, right? And I think a lot of people are getting ready for it, even me, and I'm explaining so much. Sometimes I just need to slow down a bit because I'm like, I need to just have a plan here because everything that I really want is gonna be literally 50% off even less so it's a time for you to just like make a plan a few hacks in my of course my wish list let's get to it <laughs> the first thing that i need to say when it comes to like black friday is that whenever i think about it and whenever you get closer to it i'm trying to just like see a little bit around what's available what i really like i do a lot of online shopping it's like more efficient faster and you don't need to do much especially because here in montreal it's freaking cold really fast when it's black friday yeah, no, you don't want to do that. It's usually to do a wish list. But you have that option to have a wish list done. And it's not gonna disappear after a while. The key about it is that if it's sold out, it's not gonna disappear from your wish list on Zara's. Check it from time to time and see if it's still available. Wait. The second thing that I do, if you have an online store and have a physical store in your town, wherever you live, to get there before like any Black Friday sales, anything where it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna Gonna be way too many people i buy everything go back home and then i trade on my own at my pace rush because usually you have 30 days to return it if you really don't like it the plan here is to try everything and then i'll be able to see what i really want to buy what i really want to keep whenever i'm gonna buy it for the black friday or any uh, christmas sales that is even better when you do it is that try them on with everything that you already own in your closet so you can actually see how you can actually include it in your closet or if you have something that is really similar it happens to me a lot you can do the same thing but you can return everything or what you want and you don't need to rush you don't even need to go back to the store to buy it prepare your basket online and then when the time comes you just like click on the order button that's it that's all and you get it a couple of days after so this is really good and that's why I do a lot just to like subscribe to newsletters which is really good because whenever they have the sales going on most of the time you're gonna be the first to know it you're gonna be able to order it before it just gets sold out which happens to me a lot because sometimes i just take my time i don't read my newsletters coming in i get on the side it's like sold out and i'm like really petite so most of the time for some reason like the petite size are going so fast that anything like shop tiger if you and i've had it for quite a while as well that you add on your list they're gonna let you know whenever it gets on sale so it's even better for you because you don't need to check it out all the time so everything you need to do you add it on the list and from the moment it gets on sale you get notified and all you need to do is just to order it pretty simple right I think it's simple I think it's like saved my life so many times like and you save up so much money because you don't need to buy it when it's not on sale yet like my wish list now as you know I'm doing a lot more videos and I'm trying to be a lot more present not only on my YouTube channel but on my social media company and everything like really done online so because of that I need to invest more in like anything technical camera the microphone the kind of gadget thing that you need to have when you have a channel from the moment you have a phone honestly you can start a video I've been on YouTube for quite a while now it's that I never really use it as much because of that I had to make a plan of what I want to do really on that vlog camera not that I'm vlogging that much and I'm not planning to vlog as much I'm meaning a smaller camera that I can actually carry around a lot more so if I need to vlog something 
I'm gonna be able to use it. Camera that I'm using right now is the Canon T3i, which is really good. It's a great one to start, and I really started from like almost nothing. A camera that was like really disgusting. All my videos are here, so if you want to check them out, you're gonna see the difference. So, on Amazon, because Amazon is just the best place ever. So, the first thing that I think I was gonna buy, and uh, I'm gonna show you the photo, the picture, of course. Quite a few things on my. Oh lord. It's like 5,000 in total with like step by step. I'm not that rich, believe me. The Canon G7X Mark II. The quality is really good because I've seen a lot of reviews. For the price, it's really not as bad. And in Canadian dollars, it's like uh, 748.99 Canadian dollars. It's like small. Something else that I'm probably gonna like replace with my T3i is the Canon, Canon ADD. What's in? 6900 so um yeah it's quite expensive it's like an investment here's two are just the ones that i really really want and i think it would be a good way to just like wait from like black friday to see if i can get them at a really good price the other stuff that of course i want is still on my list but if i get through all my list i think we'll be here for quite a few hours so we're not gonna get into that now when it comes to of course the clothing department you know you know you know i want to show you because i think it would be interesting for you too like winter boots and a really 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 nice solid damage like done finito finish i trash them away i have quite a few other boots that i can use for winter still but if i can get really good winter boots I would get that but the problem that I have too is that I'm really picky when it comes to boots the winter boots because I think they are pretty much ugly no offense here looking at them I really find them ugly so to me it takes so much more time to find a really nice one statistically appealing to my eyes let's put it that way. the first wish list that I had neck printed body top from Zara. Price like $49.90 Canadian dollars, which is not that bad, but it's not something that I would wear as much. Really cute. I really love like the fact that it's brown and white at the same time. It's just different. We've seen so many printed snake printed top and clothes and you know. So I just wanted to have a difference here. And this one has just something different. It's like winter and warm at the same time. It's really special. I really love it. And it's really cute because when you want to go out, it's just perfect for it. Even for like Christmas, to be honest. A boots, a leather boot from Zara as well. It's so cute. It's 149 Canadian dollars, which I think is a little bit of a price for what it is, really. You're gonna see a lot of cut like that. Like I said, the vintage is back, 90s are back. This is all about that and I really really love this style. So different from everything that you've seen so far. Just perfect for people against heels at all or just want a little bit of heels like me. Long snake printed like skirt from Zara as well. Price at $79.90 Canadian dollars. I think it's cute. If you have a black sweater or even if you want to go lighter, you can. There's room for it. There's options for it. But I'd rather wait. Dreamed about this coat for such a while now. Brown, long. Price at $2.90 Canadian dollars. I think it's so cute. I love it so much. Really classy. The price was just a bit much for me. Especially because I have so many coats already. That's why I was like, you know what? If I really need to buy this coat, it's gonna be like when it's gonna be on sales, not before. Because these things behind me are just out of everything that I have when it comes to coat jacket and everything but I'm just gonna wait for it nobody is gonna die another pair of boots that I love color amazing the style amazing it's priced at 289 Canadian dollars I mean who does that who does that really cute but not at the price it's just a shade here that just is different from everything you've seen before I usually focus myself on like asas which so many stores so many brands and you can have options when it comes to it i, I was looking for a pair of like martins the price was just disgusting for my eyes this one that i found was really cute on asas price at 273 million dollars so i was like you know what i can wait because you get so many styles you get the white ones you get the brown the black this one were just the classic one and i was just looking for a classic pair of like dark britons another pair of boots are public desire they are white a cute amazing love them love them love them your price at 94 canadian dollars i already own a pair of like white boots anyway so i think they can go with so many things during winter and spring white boots are just the way to go i'm just saying people i'm just saying oh 
Now we're talking about like Christmas celebration. An embellished French dress in rose gold uh, from Club L. This is the brand here. It's price of 136 Canadian dollars. That is a great statement piece for Christmas. That it's to die for. I'm in love with this dress. Very kilted gloves, which I think is just amazing because it just brings a lot of sophistication to the outfit. Golden zips. Price at 42 Canadian dollars, which I think is not that bad. Tuxedo wrap mini dress from Club L again. It is priced at 63 Canadian dollars. Like black boots. Really simple, you can go and do so much with it. They are priced at 73 Canadian dollars. Again, here, really great way to just like add something simple. You know me, I love my statement, but sometimes simple is good too. It's like pieces cut out, chain ankle boots, 115 Canadian dollars. Yet, with the chains, just gives the edgy, the rock vibe. You know how I am with my rock vibe, so. I love them. I think they are so, 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 so cute. So I'm probably gonna buy them. I think that's pretty much it for this wish list. I'm telling you, this video is just never gonna end. These were the main thing that I really, really looking forward to just buying them. So I really, really can't wait for the Black Friday to arrive just for that. So but if you have a way to just like prepare and just like get ready for Black Friday, definitely share it here and let me know what you usually do. You wherever you live for black friday looking to like buy some stuff share it here let me know what you want to buy i think it's like christmas before christmas you know what i mean after christmas canada we get even more sales the moment to get everything you really want so hope you enjoyed it i hope you liked it and uh, of course i'm gonna see you next week for my next videos and uh, until then i'm gonna wish you a really wonderful weekend with your family with your friends with everybody you care about actually Actually, or even people you don't care about to be honest we say all the time smile because it's free and contagious <laughs> bye